20 million dollars. 20 mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both ways. See the world when I want to. When I want Shopping sprees when I want to. When I Investments want to. with interest a show do. That'll do. $5,000 on the hotel stay. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Exotic Meats. Today is the final day. Today we have something very um, interesting and some people might be like um, disgusting. Some people like myself, we, we, we love it. It's blood sausage. Blood sausage is come from, it's the blood of the pork. Here it is, it's, it's, it's cut up. Normally when you go to a butcher or um, you find it, you know, big, it's big black with and it's stuffed with um, rice inside. I think rice and some other stuff is stuff inside, I'm not quite sure. Now, it's very good. Like in my country, Argentina, the uh, the blood sausage, which in Spanish is morcilla, is part of the of the parillada, the bar the the barbecue. You can also find it in Spain, and I believe Germany, um, some other countries. Uh, if I can find a list, we'll we'll, we'll put it some, somewhere around here. Um, I also have yuca fries, very good. If you guys haven't have yuca fries, you guys gotta have it. I have beef empanada. And I have my, one of my favorite sauces, salsa gol from Argentina. Salsa gol basically just mayo and, and ketchup mixed together. That's what it is. It's very good. It's hard to find, but if, if you can't find it, I would say just make your own at home. Just, you know, put some mayo and ketchup and mix it in. And you have salsa gol. Um, the reason I'm doing this by myself and wife is in the back. Um, she sings care of, you know, editing. She's editing some videos. And also she's had blood sausage before and she don't like it. But, you know, uh, she's not her thing. But also, you know, she's taking care of business. And um, like I said, this is my favorite thing. From all the time since I was a kid, I always loved this part of the, part of the barriada, of the Argentine barbecue. But at one point when I found out what it was, I stopped eating it. And then I decided to go back in to start eating it again, and I love it. All right, guys, let's dig in. Very good, guys. Where's the sauce? Let's try and without the sauce. You see, guys, see? This is what it looks like on the inside. Very good. And it's, this is full of vitamin D and iron. Which makes sense because it is the blood of the, of the animal. Now this, um, we ordered it from a Spanish restaurant. I'm, mostly because, you know, my wife, she, she don't like um, blood sausage. She's tried it a long time ago. Yeah, she don't know how to make it. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Staying safe. Enjoying the beautiful weather. You got fries. Very good. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's a Dominican um, um, cuisine specialty. Very good. If you guys can't find it, you can also make it at home. That's a good breakfast. Good way to start off your day. I hope you guys have enjoyed our um, exotic meats, exotic meats week. We we enjoy putting it together for you guys, presenting something new to you guys, to you guys, you know. I know there's a lot, a lot more um, exotic meats out there in the world, but you know we tried to get, you know we didn't, we tried to see what we do, you know we can uh, reach buy in our area. Maybe later on we'll do another one with, with some more different meats. If they want to see more, let us 
Yes, guys, comment down below if you guys want to see more, or if you guys have any ideas, um, other meats. Comment down below. Yeah. Yeah, basically, if you have any other um, other meats in mind, just let us know. We're trying to see if we, if we can get our hands on them, and we'll bring them to you towards the end of the week. Let's see how this tastes. You know, every country has, does empanadas differently. Not bad. Pretty good. Well, my favorite, of course, is you know, is in my Argentina empanada. You know, the, they 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 But I mean, the, the countries, the people that do it fried, they're still good. Not putting them down. You know, I'm. I'm, I'm you know, I like them. I think, I think a lot of people in this country they mo they, they mostly know um, know um, fried empanadas. They're not really familiar with the baked empanadas. And here, just have some tea. I'm thinking I'll have anything. One time we went on vacation, I had um snake soup. Now, if you get that in the US, I will boom, present it to you guys, but they won't have it. Thank you, that. That would have been a good example of me to present to you guys. <laughs> it's nice and crunchy. To all family members in the coast, please um, stay safe, be careful. I hear there's a, a, a storm coming on this way, you know, so please just stay safe, you know, watch out. If you don't have to go outside, don't go outside, if you, you know, have your umbrellas, just be safe. I was hearing there's like two storms coming on their way to the coast. I heard in most of the islands. I always wonder where they get these, where they, how, how do they name these storms and hurricanes and tornadoes? And I come up with all these names, like from where? If you guys know, comment down below. I'm always curious. Hey guys, have a bite. Try it. It's not that bad, really. Let's see if you can find the picture. The way it, the way that it looks is long and black. I think every place mm, makes it different, and you know, it looks different than place you go to, but it's not that bad, the taste. Because I always liked it, just when I found out what it was, where it came from, I stopped eating it, but then I went back to it. It's very good. And it's healthy. Let's put this sauce on the sandwich. Very good.
One more for the road, guys. I'll tell you, this is very fitting because it has so much rice and stuff filled inside. And because of the nutrition of, of, of Agove, that fills you up quickly. This is what you call very hearty, healthy, nutritious, laid back, you know, good old breakfast, you know. Thank you guys for tuning in to our last day of Exotic Meats. It has been a pleasure presenting you guys something different. And to our family, thank you for being part of us. To our new members, welcome to the family. Please um subscribe to everyone who hasn't. Smash the bell, please. Go, uh, give you a moment. Thank you. Comment down below. We're gonna hear from you guys. What do you think guys think about Azari Meat Week? What do you think about um, blood sausage or morcilla as we say Spanish people know it? What do you think about everything I present to you? You could fries. The empanada, the salsa gold. I highly recommend you guys try these different pieces on the plate. Very good, you will love it. Like I said, you got fries, very good. You'll find any Spanish restaurant. You can make it at home or you can, you know, order it. The empanada, we all, most, most everyone in America knows that's fried empanada, but you know, there are some countries like, my, like Argentina that do it baked. And the salsa gold, very simple, you know, it's Argentinian it's Argentina sauce. But it's very simple. You can do at home. Just a mayo and ketchup together. Very good dish right here. Guys, we love you very much. And we'll be bringing you more different things to come. And if you guys have any ideas, bring them to us. We love you guys so much with our hearts. Mi gente, los quiero mucho. Espero que hayan disfrutado de esta semana de um, carne, proteína, exótica. Y de este video que le presenté a la, la morcilla, que todos queremos mucho. Mi gente, de nuestro amor al suyo, hasta la próxima. $20 million, $20 mil, house on the hill, a Lamborghini in the driveway, fly